Hi everyone, Rooney here, and welcome to my channel. So a friend of mine sent me this yesterday, and it was absolutely gut-wrenching. For those of you who don't understand Filipino, let me loosely translate this for you. Hi guys, I'm so depressed right now. Please tell me that this game has hope. I haven't slept for a number of days now because I keep thinking about it. I invested 3 million pesos, or that's around 60,000 US dollars. And I took a loan to get that in this game. Because I tried it first and I liked it. I was also drawn by easy money. And now I'm drowning in debt. I know it's a wrong move. And I did realize it late. And it's really gut-wrenching. I don't even know if life is still worth living now that I'm drowning in debt. I don't know how to get it back. I don't want to do this anymore. Sorry. So while it's easy to scoff at or mock the guy for doing a lot of mistakes, if you actually parse through the various things that he did wrong and take a look at what you're doing now, you guys are probably doing the same thing, just not on these extremes. So let's try to dissect what he did and try to see if it really applies to you. Because if you find yourself doing the same exact thing, then it's really time to reevaluate and really snap out of the bad habits. The first thing is he invested $60,000 on a game. That is a lot of money for a typical investment. And this is the perfect example of before you dive into a particular investment, you have to assess its risk. Crypto Mines is a micro cap. So a micro cap is not as stable as other tokens out there. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you're going to get burned most of the time. So that's the first thing. The second major thing was this person took a loan in order to invest in it. So the money is leveraged. So think about what you're doing with your own investments. Are you currently taking out loans to try to cash into the crypto market or are you spending money that you can afford to lose? The other thing that he did was he probably bought through this massive run-up that Eternal had. Did you also do the same thing? Were you buying green candles along the way? Because, because remember guys, if you buy big green candles, you get big red dildos. And finally, did you do your own research? This is very important to note. It's not just about the game that you have to evaluate. Just because a game is good to play or you liked how it played, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a great investment because there are so many other things that you have to take note of. More importantly, and we're going to dive into the charts soon, it is very, very important to understand tokenomics. So I'm looking at the eternal chart right now. When you look at it from a certain scale, it looks like what's wrong with it? It's just a certain run up. It just kept going up and up. It looked like it adhered to the support structure before it eventually fell down. But this is looking at it from a logarithmic scale. If I switch this to linear, this is what you can see. It is so easy to pinpoint all of the red flags right here. One, the overextension to the EMAs right here is really an alarm bell that you really should not touch this until it settles back down. This is one of the inherent challenges when dealing with a particular crypto with a very low total supply. The eternal total supply is only 5 million coins. The problem with a token that has very, very low volume is if you look at this run-up right here, it doesn't take too much volume to take all or majority of the supply of eternal. Then when people start hearing that eternal has suddenly gone 100x, look at where the volume piled up right here. All of the money were suddenly piled up here and the people who were quietly accumulating right here, what did they do? Wait for that particular run-up, dump it all on the market, and now you're left with nothing. I really do not want this to happen to any one of us here. So please do your own research, understand what tokenomics means, and risk adjust your investment accordingly. If you like my video, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.